Hey Rachel from Nevado, California. It's Hugh here. Sorry, we're at rehearsals. We've got some nice underscoring here. My favourite moment in live theatre? It's probably two. When I did a show called The Boy From Oz on Broadway about six, seven years ago, the very last show was uh, kind of an out-of-body experience. And at one point, I'm not sure how I came to do this, but I got off stage and I dragged Barbara Walters and Matt Damon up on stage together and forced Matt Damon to, alongside me, to give Barbara Walters a lap dance. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever forget that. Um, and she'll never forgive me. Um, I think that and the, probably the Academy Awards. Wow, our underscoring is getting real big here. Uh, but uh, probably the Oscars, there's some moments of the Oscars that were truly memorable. Hey Nicole from San Jose. I decided to do the show, uh, concert, one man show. Well, I really only decided fairly recently to actually do it, but it's been in my head for a long time. And for me, the theatre is in my blood and I love it and I really miss it. It actually feels like an indulgence to be able to come back and do a show with such great people. And I decided when I was choosing all my material to do the things that I love doing so that I would really look forward to doing it. And that's basically what it is. It, 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 selfishly, it's very indulgent for me. I love being with an audience, with a live audience. And it's been a long time since I've done a musical on, on Broadway and it's, it's difficult to fit that in. So this is a great way for me to be able to, you know, keep all those muscles working and to, to share with an audience. Hey Lisa from San Fran. We're loving your town by the way, love being here. Um, what's harder, preparing for a movie role or a theatre production? I, both are difficult in different ways. It's a different type of preparation. For someone like Wolverine, it's, it's months of training and eating and some, some roles, for example, when I did The Fountain, I spent a year preparing for that, uh, doing Tai Chi and yoga and research. So it's, everything is different. But there's no doubt that in actually doing it, theatre is the hardest work of all. It's, there's nothing more rewarding and nothing harder to do. Eight shows a week, so that's my answer to that. Rachel from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, your question is so easy to answer. What are my favourite cheat foods right, when I'm not on a diet? First thing I always crave is like breakfast cereal, but I, I don't like it at breakfast. I like it at like 11 o'clock at night. I love lasagna. I love basically anything Italian. Um, oh gosh, Sp yeah, spaghetti bolognese. I I also love sweet food. So tiramisu is my favorite dessert, and I love ice cream. They'd, they'd be my big cheats. Hey, Will. You ask a good question. Who inspired me when I was younger to become a performer? Um, well, my mum says it was because I was the youngest of five kids and I was constantly looking for attention. <laughs> but I think uh, the most influential person I've had was actually an acting teacher called Lyle Jones, who uh, he sort of really changed my life. You know, I always loved performing, being up on stage, but I really didn't know what I was doing. He was the one who really kind of shaped me and taught me how to act. I uh, look forward to hopefully seeing you at the current theatre, San Francisco. We're there from the 3rd to the 15th of May, so uh, hope to see you then.